Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to change uh, footstep terrain sounds based on the kind of terrain that your character is walking over um, using FMOD and Unreal. Now I'm not going to show you how to integrate your FMOD project with Unreal in this video. There are plenty of resources online um, that can show you how to do that. Let's get started. Starting in our FMOD project, the first thing that we want to do is import our footstep sounds to the project. So I'm going to hit Control-3 to bring up the audio bin. And um, what we're going to go ahead and do is minimize the FMOD project, open up our footsteps folder, and I'm just going to drag my footstep folders directly into the audio bin and that's going to set up a nice folder structure automatically for us. I'm going to reopen up the FMOD project. In the events browser I'm going to create a new folder. I'm just going to call it footsteps and then I'm going to right click create a new event, new 2D event. I'm not going to worry about spatialization right now so it's okay for it to be 2D. I'm going to call the event footsteps and then right click and make sure to assign it to the master bank. Now I'm going to we have four terrain type uh, we have four terrain types concrete, grass, wood and metal. So I'm going to set up my tracks to reflect that. First track is going to be concrete. And then uh, we are going to add an audio track here. We're going to call this grass. Right click, add audio track rename this wood, right click, add audio track, to rename this metal. Oops. There we go. Okay, now we need to set up our parameter for changing the terrain. So go ahead and click on the plus tab up here next to the timeline. Choose add parameter, new parameter and we're going to add a user parameter, not a built-in parameter. So go ahead and call this parameter terrain. And we have, uh, we're going to go ahead and set the maximum to four. And um, even though we have four terrain types, so normally it would be one to three, but you're going to see why uh, when we start setting this up. So minimum zero, maximum four, hit OK. Now we're going to start bringing in our sounds. So this knob up here, represents our terrain parameter and when it's at zero we want to play concrete footsteps when it's at one we want to play grass footsteps when it's at two we want to play wood footsteps and when it's at three we want to play metal footsteps now if our maximum parameter value was three um, the timeline or rather the track would have ended right here i wouldn't have had any room to put my metal footstep sounds uh, I could have put them on the left side of it, but that's neither here nor there. I like to have the space to work with. So let's go ahead and drag in our footstep assets. So let's bring in our concrete assets. I'm going to drag uh, all of them onto the track that's going to go ahead and set up a multi-instrument automatically for us. And grass is going to go onto one. Metal down here and that's going to be on three then we have our wood on two all right excellent and we can set this to one our values are always going to be uh, integers whole numbers so they don't have to cover the entire um, span of the track, all the float numbers from 0 to 1, for example, for concrete, because our parameter is only going to be set to 0, 1, 2, or 3. All right, let's go ahead and save this. Control S, and then we are going to hit F7 to build. And that's all that we have to do for setup in the FMOD project. Let's go ahead and switch to our Unreal project now. So in real, the first thing I'm going to do is find my uh, character controller or my character blueprint. That's going to be in third person BP, blueprints, third person character. 
And what we want to do is set up a corresponding variable that's going to represent the parameter um, that we just set up in fmod. So we just set up a parameter called terrain. Now we want a variable in the third person character blueprint that matches that parameter. So uh, over here under variables, I'm going to click variable to create a new variable. And we are going to call this terrain, just like we called our parameter. And then we are going to set this to int. All right. And that's all we have to do for this blueprint. It's going to compile, save. Then I'm going to set up my footstep notifications on the animation. So I'm going to go to the parent content folder, search for anim, and that's going to bring up our third person run animation. Go ahead, double click that to open it. All right, let's set up our notifications for our footsteps. So I'm going to stop this animation, find where the foot almost hits the ground, right click, add notify, new notify. I'm going to call this footstep. And then drag the playhead forward to where the left foot almost hits the ground right click add notify and you'll see that the custom notify has already been set up for us and that's all that we have to do on this animation here next we have to open up the blueprint and grab those notifies so i'm going to right click i'm going to type in footstep and you'll see event anim notify footstep corresponding to the footstep notifications that we just set up now we're going to have to cast to the third person character blueprint in order to grab uh, that variable. So I'm going to drag off here. I'm going to type in cast to third and it's going to bring up cast to third person character. Go ahead and click on that. I'm going to drag off of the object pin and type in get pawn owner. Uh, try get pawn owner and then we are going to um, as third person character or in the third person character we want to get that uh, terrain variable so I'm going to type in get terrain grab the get terrain node and then finally we want to play our sound every time this notification is called so I'm going to look for play event and under audio F mod, we're going to find play event 2D. This event instance doesn't matter. Uh, play event 2D, since our footstep sounds are a 2D event. In the drop down, go ahead and select footsteps. And then we have to uh, change the parameter in the footsteps event in F mod. And we do that by getting this terrain parameter and hooking it into, or this terrain variable, and hooking it into a uh, set parameter, parameter, event instance set parameter node. So it's going to look for what event that we want to set the parameter in. We're going to drag off the return value for our play event. Since that's creating a footstep event, that's the event instance we want to call. Next, it's looking for the name of the parameter that we set up in fmod, and the name of the parameter is terrain. So this has to match exactly uh, the name of the parameter that you set up in fmod. Then it's looking for the value to change the parameter to, and we're going to change it to whatever value is stored in the terrain variable. Now this doesn't help us if we're not setting any value in the terrain variable and we do that using trigger boxes in the level blueprint. So I'm going to compile and save this animation blueprint and then we're going to bring up uh, our, our level blueprint but first we have to set up some trigger boxes. So the way that we're going to change that parameter value is it's going to change every time we step into the right a trigger box corresponding to the different terrain on the ground. All right, so let's go ahead in the modes, look for trigger volume. I'm going to drag this trigger volume into my 
level and I know each of these squares are five by five. So I'm going to scale this up to match the scale and also give it a value of five for the Z, uh, for the Z axis as well. So you can see there that a five by five box perfectly matches the uh, terrain squares on the ground. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this trigger volume and copy it uh, three more times. So Control C, Control V, and then drag this over the grass. Control C, Control V, drag this over the concrete. And Control C, Control V, drag this over the metal terrain that I have set up there. I'm gonna name these so that I can keep track of them better. This is the wood trigger box and this is my grass trigger box and this is my concrete trigger box and this is my metal trigger box. Okay, great. Now, um, these are all over the place in the World Outliner. I'm going to organize them a bit by creating a terrain folder and then dragging all of my trigger boxes into that terrain folder just so that I can keep track of them easier. Now, for each one of these, I'm going to right click on them, scroll down to Add Event and choose On Actor Begin Overlap. It's going to go ahead and create an on actor begin overlap event for us for that trigger box. And I'm going to do this with all four of my trigger boxes. On actor begin overlap. Great. So all of my terrain types have the on actor begin overlap here. And when the player overlaps with these trigger boxes, we want it to change the parameter in FMOD to the corresponding uh, parameter in the terrain variable. So what we do is we have to cast to our third person character again because we have to change the value of that variable. So we're going to cast a third person character we're going to drag off of object and we're going to say get player character. We're going to drag off of as third person character and we're going to type in set terrain and that's going to set that terrain variable for us. I'm going to hook that up and this is uh, concrete, and in FMOD, zero corresponds to our concrete footstep sound, so we want to set the terrain variable to zero whenever we overlap with concrete. Next, um, for grass, we're going to do the exact same thing, so we can just drag over both of these nodes, Control C, Control V to copy them, and we're going to do that for the other two as well. So we're just going to hit Control V and Control V. Now we just have to make sure that these integers are set up to the corresponding integers in FMOD. So I'm going to go to my FMOD project. Concrete is 0, grass is 1, wood is 2, metal is 3. So concrete, grass, wood, metal. Grass is 1, wood is 2, metal is 3. So grass is one. We're going to set grass to one. Uh, wood is two. And metal is three. Great. Now all we have to do is hook these up to the overlap events. And then make sure to hook up our get player character node to our casting nodes. All right. One uh, last thing that we have to do is on event begin play. Um, once this level immediately starts, we want to set the parameter to zero. So we're going to go ahead and grab uh, one of these sets of nodes and 
set the terrain parameter to zero because the player start uh, begins on concrete. So we want the player's footsteps to be concrete right off the bat. And so once we hit play, the parameter is going to be set to zero and our player footsteps will be concrete. So let's compile. Let's hit play. And now there's our concrete footsteps. There's our grass footsteps. Uh, I must have accidentally overlapped with the concrete there. There's our wood. There's our metal. As you can see, my my uh, trigger box my trigger boxes are a little bit sloppy, so I'm overlapping when I shouldn't be. But you can see that it works. All right, and that's how you change footstep terrain using FMOD and Unreal.